it's Robin here with Matt Man and Robin. Welcome to the channel where I like to encourage, inspire, and include you in making Operation Christmas Child Shoe Boxes year round. So, I know that I should be packing boxes. I know this. But, here's my dilemma. <laughs> um, I've let my OCC room get the better of me. It's giving me anxiety and it is a catastrophe in there. So instead, let's open some friend mail. Um, for real, today is about friend mail and we will open this amazingly large, huge stuffed box. But I just want to encourage you that it's okay if your room gets out of control and it's okay if your life feels like it's out of control. Um, and it's okay to take breaks. And all of that stuff that has been so loved and is um, still being prayed for and cared for and ready to be packed into a box is still going to its amazing destination wherever the shoebox um, travels take it. <laughs> Um, so don't worry. All of that stuff is still going to reach the hands of the children that need it. I just needed a break. Um, and my hope is that I'm going to open this box. And there's lots of goodies in it that need to go into their specific places in my room. And then the next step for me is cleaning the clutter. Um because it's all value, it's all valuable. I've just let it get cluttered. And when my space is cluttered, my mind gets cluttered and that's not healthy for me. So the next step is to um, take all this stuff, organize it, get ready for more unboxings of actual Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. And next week, I am doing a collaboration with Annabeth. So get excited, get ready for that. That's coming next week. I'm gonna do a shoe box. And I'm really grateful for this community, um, for everyone who watches and the other creators because um, I don't know that I could do what I do without you guys, like physically, half the stuff that you, that goes in these boxes more than half in some cases is from you but also like the amazing things that people have sent me um it just encourages me to keep going i know that um some of you are watching because you're having a bad day and that means a lot to me um because i'm counting on you and um if you're counting on me, that helps me get up. It helps me come and do this. So thank you for being an amazing community. Even though we never, most of us never get to physically meet, um, it's still amazing that God created community in such a way to, that we help each other in every aspect. So. Enough blabbing. I know the last video was a haul and probably the video before that, but that's where I'm at right now. That's what I can do. And that's what we're doing right now. So let's see what my friend sent me. Now this one, um, I have been talking with Tracy is who sent this for a really long time back and forth. And she's been asking me a lot of secretive questions so I have a feeling that a lot of things in here go with a lot of boxes that um, have either already been packed and I can stuff some stuff into them or that are coming up um, and so I'm excited to see what's in here now full disclosure she taped this a lot so I had to do some surgery to open it um, and I did see like a few things that are on top but I have not gone through the box yet um, but I wanted to do that surgery on the tape off camera so let's get into it um, 
I just put one little piece of tape on there so that it would stay closed because y'all, she packed it tight. Let's see. There we go, it's open. Okay, so here is what we see right on top. This is, this must be what our kiddos feel like when they get our boxes. Um, just so bright and colorful and stuffed with so many goodies. Um, so I will just dig in and I have another box over here to the side and I'm going to be putting stuff in. I'm not putting it on the floor. It's going into another box. So let's see here. This guy's calling my name. It's really cute. This is a dino mask. Great for imaginative play, parties, costumes, and more. Kingdom of Imagination. It's so cute. I definitely have some dino boxes that this can go in. Um, and then right here are some cards. So I try to send a card in every box. These ones are day spring cards. There are four different sides. And the card like opens up to make a box. Isn't that really cool how it goes together and makes a box? That's really cool. Um, the card that becomes a tissue box. Really interesting. I have never seen anything like this. And it will be fun to put into a box. It's kind of like a card and a craft. So that's fun. Let's see. This, this baggie of goodies is next. Oh my goodness. Um... Let's see, I think this might be a card to me. So I will read it off camera. Um, I, yes, I will read this off camera because I, I think that it probably has some personal things in it. But here is this beautiful card that she sent to me. I'm gonna set it right here under the camera. Boop. Okay, so let's see. What is in this Ziploc baggie? This is a fun Ziploc bag. It has like <laughs> Christmas trees on it. Okay, this first book. Oh, this is a Jesus Bible activity sticker book. I've seen these at Dollar Tree, but I haven't seen this one. Um, here are all of the ones that are available if you are looking for something in this collection. Um, after making friends with Kayla Beretta, who is a missionary that receives these boxes. Her and her husband said the most important thing that they wish was in every box is something gospel-centered. Um, I used to avoid that, thinking that these boxes might go to closed countries, and I didn't want to get anyone in trouble. Um, but now that I've done my research and I know more, I try to include at least one gospel-centered item in every box, and this will be a great one to send. Um, it has really colorful pages and some mazes and puzzles, but my favorite thing are the stickers in the middle. So fun. So thank you for this amazing gospel-centered item. These look really cool. Um, they're stencils, and they're like boy stencils. So um, what you're seeing on there is the cardboard behind the stencil, and the orange part is the actual stencil. These are really cool. I think this might be what she was referring to um, in one of our correspondences. She said that something on top was wider than a go box. So this would not fit in a standard Operation Christmas Child shoe box. But if you have shoe boxes that you use from your closet that actually hold shoes, these would most likely fit. So there are two, two different orange colors and two different types of cars. These are really neat. Um, this topping looks familiar to me. It's A Plus Homework is the um, brand and I believe I have seen these at like teacher stores or homeschool stores and Mardell sells a lot of stuff like this. If you are looking for something similar, I believe this A Plus Homework can be found at Mardell. So, yay, I haven't even, like, it's not even close to budging the surface here. Um, ooh, sorry if I bumped the table. Yep, doing it again, more, sorry, I'm so sorry. 
Okay, so a lot of stuff is wrapped in tissue paper, so I get to like unwrap and unwrap and unwrap. Oh my goodness. I She sent me hints about this. So I will keep this tissue paper over here. Look how beautiful. Oh my goodness. So this is a, um, what do you call them? Dancing ribbons. So she has a really pretty tool on it and beautiful, look how beautiful that ribbon is. Um, but it is to go with Anna. So I have an Anna box and she has made this beautiful dancing ribbon. Oh my gosh, Tracy, this is really pretty. You did a great job. This little girl is going to be so excited to open this Anna dancing ribbon, wow. And this little charm I've seen at Dollar Tree and I've never picked it up because all the ones I saw had weird faces, but she has a good one. This is the best on a face I've seen. So you did, you did your due diligence there. Wow, thank you, this is really pretty. Here's another um, one in tissue paper. So I'm thinking it might be another dancing ribbon. Let's see what this one is. <gasps> It's Elsa. It goes with Elsa. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So here is the Elsa doll up top. See Elsa on there? But then she's also included these really pretty snowflakes. Such delicate, pretty colors. Oh, this is so fun. Thank you. So in case you guys make these, what a, what a fun idea to include little... Um, keychains on them as well really cute thank you I'm gonna set this over here as well with its tissue paper so that it can stay nice and pretty okay again still haven't even really touched the surface oh my god look at this okay so um, this is a tip that I have is that finding these that you can find all of these minifigures technically at Dollar Tree, but they're really hard to find. Usually you only see mini. But she got this at Ross for $5. Well, yeah, $5. And there are five figurines. So these are now cheaper than Dollar Tree. And she's got my girl. I actually have this Daisy in my own collection and I am excited now to get to add it to my box. So, and Clarabelle is really hard to find. She's even more rare than Daisy. So I am excited to get to include this uh, with my Daisy box. Thank you, so cool. And Abby Cadabby, isn't she cute? I love her, she has little fairy wings on the back. This is great. Um, let's see here. It looks like this is a frozen baggie, a baggie of all kinds of frozen items. <gasps> Guys, she found, I love these little wands. Oh my gosh. So I've used these little wands before and I love just sending them. I never thought to add ribbons to them. How beautiful. Wow, I love this ribbon. So cute, and these are so soft. So there's obviously an Anna one, and then there is an Elsa one. So cute. Look at this. Oh, wow. It says flakies, snow flakies on it. These are so much fun. Little fairy wands or princess wands. Dancing ribbons, this is such a great idea. For all of you crafty ladies out there, she did a great job. Um, I'm gonna quickly run out of room. <laughs> Let's see what these other items are. I've seen these at um, Dollar General, usually in the clearance aisle, and I don't know why, because they come with um, four different bead sets that make these really cute Anna and Elsa bracelets. I've seen these before. Um, and then here are these little kits that she made. <gasps> wow. Okay, so it has like a bracelet and a hair clippy with uh, Elsa braid. 
This is a fingernail file and a little pin and I and stickers. This is so cute. This must have been like a Valentine's special or something that she found because there are two of them. So cute. I cannot wait to add these. I also like these size of baggies. I wonder where she gets them. Really cute. Okay, also snowman baggy. This stuff is adorable. Okay, okay, focus, focus, focus. Um, I don't even know where to start. Guys, this might have to be a two-parter video here because there's, I wanna say I don't know where to start and we're already 15 minutes in. Look at these. These are um, some foam stickers. I bet these are from Oriental Trading and they say things like, our God is awesome, rejoice in the Lord, whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God, the heavens declare his glory, we love because he first loved us. These are great, so much fun, and they're so bright and colorful. A really good, easy um, gospel thing to include. Um, especially for teenage boys, those kind of seem hard to do. So I could include something like this with some other foam stickers and put it in a boy box, and it, there you go. Gospel item for an older boy. Um, party favors. These are um, jelly bracelets that harder plastic, but they're really pretty colors. I haven't seen these colors like oranges and pinks and blues and purples. Love this. So cool. I don't recognize this um, brand, so I'm not sure where it came from. So cool. All these new things that are new to me. Look at these. Maracas! This one is Minnie and this one is Daisy. So fun. Oh my gosh, where do you find this cool Daisy stuff? She's so elusive, Daisy. Okay. I, oh, oh my goodness, y'all. She found a whole set of those, oh, these, I love these. I usually find them in like sets of four from Dollar Tree, um, but and I've been looking and looking for over a year. These are so great to add in everything. You can add these in pencil packs. Uh, you can add them as filler. You can put them down in the side. They fit in every box. So cool. There's purple and blue and a hot pink and a light pink. Oh my gosh, Tracy, you have to tell me where you got these. You obviously got them in bulk. Um, but the bag doesn't let me know. I'm assuming it's probably Amazon. Um, can you please send me the link to these? Because I want to share this with everybody. This is amazing. Wow. Wow. Look, I've searched internet and cannot find these. So this is impressive. I am excited. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, here it is. Here's the, look at this. Princess Wands Made in China, Kid Fun, Making Fun Easy Value Pack. Um, it doesn't say where, but maybe this will help us search for it. If you're looking for those wands. Kid Fun, Making Fun Easy, I think is probably the brand. Ugh, this is awesome. Thank you for this, Tracy. Yay! Okay, okay. Okay. Focus. Oh, look at this, darling. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she left the tag on here for us. Look, $1.50 at Walmart for this so amazing cuddle bear. Look, this blankie is so soft and this cute cuddle top. Oh, what a great thing to include for a toddler. It doesn't say, it is, it's a Gerber, Gerber Modern Moments, if you're looking for this online. He is so soft and so cute. This definitely passes the would give to my niece or nephew test. And he's generic enough that this is great for a boy or a girl. And it's gonna fold up to like nothing, y'all, because his body is really a blinky. Wow.
cute. Okay, okay. This can go in the box, so I have I have room. Oh, there's a girl one. Oh, I guess that one was for a boy. This one was also a dollar fifty. And look at her. Oh my gosh. Okay, if I ever had a girl, this like the nursery would look like this. This is beautiful. Look at her little bow. Oh my goodness. So cute. And she has her own little blankie up here that she's holding. That is adorable. That's so cute. This is so soft. What a great little lovey. Um, the inside is pink. So cute. Um, $1.50, that's amazing. Again, it's that Gerber uh, Modern Moments. Yes. <gasps> I have a Raya box, but I do not have a Sisu. Um, I saw this before I started collecting my uh, Raya box, and I was like, no, I'm not gonna pick up Sisu. What would I do with that? Where would I put that? And then more Raya stuff just kept like making its way to my home, and I'm so excited because this is so pretty. What a fun little stuffy. So we get to add Sisu to our Raya box. Oh, so fun. And she really is pretty. Those are really pretty colors and her like spine is iridescent. Cute, cute, cute. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here. There's so much. I'm just going for the big stuff right now. The, the big, the, this is all wow items, but I'm gravitating to the big stuff. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. Olaf. So I'm doing an Olaf box, and I'm also doing like a Kristoff Sven Olaf box. So two different boy Olaf boxes. So this will definitely have to go in one of those. Um, it's probably not going to pick it up on camera, but his body, oh, there you can kind of see, has glittery snowflakes on it. Really cool. Thank you for this. This is gonna be great in a box. You're so cute, Olaf. Uh, it doesn't say where he's from, um, but he is a Just Play brand. Just Play Olaf, if you're searching for something like this. Uh, their website is justplayproducts.com. So, cute. Calm down. <gasps> Look at these. It's a whole set of pencils. Oh my gosh. There's probably like 12 or oh, more, more than 12. Definitely. They're all boy um, colors, like, but specifically, I don't know if, if I'll be able to, they are Avengers. So they're superheroes and it just says at the bottom, uh, Marvel's Avenger on them. So cute. It's not gonna focus, but a whole pack of Marvel pencils. Yes, I have a lot of superhero boxes that um, you haven't seen yet because they just, they need more. And here we go, more. Perfect. Okay, what is this? Ghoul Essentials bracelets. So it looks like um, four, they're pretty basic. Let's open these and see if they have anything on them or they're just generic amazing things that she found after Halloween. Oh good, they're just generic. That's really cool. Um, so they're just really good generic bracelets. These would be great to send for boys. I like to send jewelry to everybody um, and this is a great thing for guys. Very basic bracelets, really cool. Thank you. She found some good stuff. Um, so a lot of this stuff, is, it says it's from Temple, Tempe, Arizona. And I'm assuming all of those things came from the same store, but I, I am not familiar with them. So, interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, keep going. It's so much fun to see things like, I go to the my same stores all the time, and so I'm seeing all the same stuff, but this is the kind of stuff that I don't see everywhere, so. It's really cool to see what else you guys see that I don't see. 
what is this? This is <laughs> Justice League, like bouncy men. So I'm gonna cut this again because it's hard to tell through the plastic. They're like those little frog hoppers, those plastic frog hoppers. Um, and you like, when he's sitting down on the table, you pull him back and he hops. And they're all little superheroes. So this one is Superman. Superman frog hopper, basically. Really cute. That's fun. There are three of them in here. There's Batman and Flash as well. That's really cute. I wonder where she got these. Um, it doesn't say Greenbrier on the back, so it's not like officially a Dollar Tree thing, but I wonder if maybe that's where she got it. Okay, let's keep going, keep going, keep going. What is this? Oh, she stuffed this full of some goodies. Princess stickers and activity sheets. This is the, the official case of it but there's definitely some socks in there. So let's open it up. Oh, this is fun. Here's a fun bead kit. That's really cute and it has like little um, animal beads in it. This is a great example of how to pack a bead kit in these great sized lunch baggies. Some cording, some really fun colorful beads and some fun novelty beads. Perfect little bead kit. Here are the princess stickers that came with it. Really cute. That is, they are really, really cute. And, oh, I love lanyards. This one is from Dollar Tree uh, and such pretty flowers. I love this. There was another one of these in here too. So there are two of these so far, which is amazing. Two more than expected. And look. <laughs> okay, so it's already uh, balled up and has the little um, plastic thing punched through, but they're daisy socks. Where did you find these? Oh my goodness, I want a pair for myself. I want to know where they're from and I will buy the grown up version. <laughs> so cute. Um, also with those, yep, I thought so, Minnie Mouse socks. These are cute. They must have come in a pack because they're nicely like balled up and have the plastic running through them. And then the last thing in this little kit are these, um, the princess activity sheets that it came with. So there's these great scenes that the stickers can go on and a few coloring pages. Wow, this is a cute little kit. This is gonna be fun to add into. I have like a generic princess box. It's not like a Disney princess, just like this kind of princess. So this is perfect. Um, this is by Basic Basics Products. So some of my glitter pins that I use are the same brand. So I like this brand, it is trusted. So fun. Man, we're not even like halfway through this giant box yet. So, um, I think that it's a good time to pause right here. I'm going to have to make a part two of this amazing box from Tracy. So be on the lookout for the second part of this unboxing coming soon. So that is it for um, this video today. And again, I just wanna say thank you to our amazing community for everything that they do um, and helping me get through this little valley that comes to all of us in different forms. I don't know um, what your valleys look like, but I just want you to know that you're not alone. And as long as we continue to be honest with ourselves and with each other and love one another, then we can get through anything. So in case no one has told you, I love you lots. Bye, have a great day.